Hey there, fellow cinephiles and nostalgic souls. Do you remember the days when you settled down on your comfy couch, the soft glow of the TV casting a warm, flickering light across the room, and lost yourself in the intriguing world of the 1974 movie The Conversation? Ah, the memories. That classic film had a way of drawing us in, didn't it? As the years have rolled on, we've all had our own personal experiences with this cinematic gem. Maybe it was Gene Hackman's captivating performance that had you on the edge of your seat. Or perhaps you found yourself contemplating the complexities of surveillance and privacy long after the credits rolled. Did you watch it with friends or family, sharing gasps, theories, and late-night discussions? The conversation, directed by the brilliant Francis Ford Coppola, delved into themes that still resonate with us today, even in this age of digital surveillance and technology. But hey, it's not all about the heavy stuff. What about the amazing cinematography, that haunting saxophone score, or the subtle nuances that made this film a true masterpiece? So, let's take a walk down memory lane together. Share your favorite moments, characters, and experiences from the conversation. What made it unforgettable for you? And if you haven't seen it, well, this is your chance to discover a hidden cinematic treasure. Now, let's dive into some random facts about the show to enrich your appreciation for this iconic film. After all, who doesn't love a good tidbit of movie trivia, right? The conversation unlocking the secrets of sound and suspicion in the 1974 movie The Conversation. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, the character Harry Call, a surveillance expert, plays a pivotal role in unraveling the film's enigmatic plot. One intriguing aspect of the film is how Harry interprets the recordings he meticulously refines and re-refines throughout the story. To achieve this effect, the dialogue was recorded multiple times with different readings. Coppola's The Conversation is known to be the director's personal favorite among his impressive body of work. This distinction adds to the film's significance in the world of cinema, as it showcases Coppola's skillful storytelling and filmmaking. Moreover, the movie provides subtle references to the Teamsters and Harry Call's previous work for the Attorney General. These allusions are believed to be inspired by Bobby Kennedy's investigations into Jimmy Hoffa and the Teamsters, adding a layer of real-world context to the film's narrative. The conversation remains an iconic film of the 1970s, known for its masterful use of sound and a gripping storyline that delves into themes of surveillance and paranoia. With its multi-layered storytelling, this movie continues to captivate audiences, making it a classic that remains relevant today. In conclusion, the conversation not only stands as Francis Ford Coppola's favorite work, but also showcases the meticulous approach taken to create a unique auditory experience and incorporates subtle references to historical events. It's a cinematic gem that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats, even decades after its release. Francis Ford Coppola had written the outline for the conversation in 1966 but couldn't secure funding until The Godfather became a hit. The movie, released in 1974, is a psychological thriller about Harry Call, a surveillance expert. During a party scene in the film, a character named Bernie Morin boasts about recording calls of an unnamed presidential candidate 12 years prior, potentially influencing the 1960 election. This was a nod to the real-life Watergate scandal involving Nixon's tapes. Originally, Harry Call owned the building he lived in, but this detail was cut from the final film. These facts shed light on the movie's historical context and creative process. Unveiling the cinematic evolution of the conversation and the making of the 1974 thriller The Conversation, creative tensions between director Francis Ford Coppola and cinematographer Haskell Wexler reshaped the film's visual narrative. Wexler, known for his work on the Thomas Crown Affair and the cinema Vrit style of medium cool, clashed with Coppola's vision. The former leaned towards a romantic aesthetic, while the latter envisioned a raw, documentary-like approach. This discord led to Wexler's replacement by director of photography Bill Butler, marking a pivotal moment in the film's production. Another unexpected turn in the film's development involved Harrison Ford's role. Originally conceived as a minor, one-dimensional character, Ford transformed the part into a groundbreaking portrayal. Opting to play the character as gay, a daring move in 1974, Ford personally invested in a distinctive loud green silk suit, valued at $900. 
Initially taken aback, Coppola eventually embraced Ford's interpretation, expanding the role into a supporting character named Martinstead. Production designer Dean Tavolaris crafted an office environment that reflected the character's unique orientation, elevating Ford's contribution to the film. However, despite the film's critical acclaim and numerous accolades, Gene Hackman's exclusion from the Academy Award nominations for his role in the conversation stirred controversy. Despite securing nominations in other prestigious awards, including the Golden Globes and BAFTAS, Hackman's omission from the Oscars was perceived as a significant snub. Critics, audiences, and major film organizations deemed it a glaring oversight, casting a shadow on the film's otherwise stellar reception. In retrospect, the conversation stands as a testament to the dynamic interplay between creative minds and the transformative decisions that shape cinematic masterpieces. From visual clashes to groundbreaking character interpretations, the film's journey from conception to screen mirrors the intricate dance of artistic collaboration that defines the industry. The conversation behind the surveillance lens in the DVD commentary for the 1974 film The Conversation, director Francis Ford Coppola revealed a surprising connection between his movie and the infamous Watergate scandal. Contrary to popular belief, Coppola stated that the film's surveillance and wiretapping equipment mirrored those used by the Nixon administration to spy on political opponents. This unintentional link, however, did not result from any script modifications or inside information on Watergate, but rather from meticulous research and technical advisors. Coppola clarified that the script was finalized in the mid-1960s, predating Nixon's presidency. The film's use of spying equipment, a critical element in the plot, was discovered through diligent research and not from later revelations about the Watergate break-in. The shooting wrapped up months before the Watergate stories hit the press, and the film hit theaters just before Nixon's resignation. As a result, audiences perceived the conversation as a timely reaction to the unfolding Watergate scandal and its aftermath. This unexpected connection to real-world political intrigue inadvertently thrust the film into the limelight, contributing to its recognition. Despite the film's unrelated origins and completion before the Watergate revelations, the parallel between the on-screen surveillance and the Nixon administration's actions proved eerily coincidental. Intriguingly, Coppola's commentary sheds light on the unintended relevance of the conversation to a tumultuous period in American history. The film's portrayal of privacy invasion struck a chord with audiences already grappling with the consequences of political surveillance, adding a layer of resonance to an already compelling narrative. In the end, the conversation stands as a cinematic product of its time, exploring themes that unintentionally echoed the events of the Watergate scandal. Coppola's revelation provides a unique perspective on the film's reception and its unintentional connection to a chapter in American history marked by surveillance and secrecy. And so, the conversation about the conversation extends beyond its fictional narrative, intertwining with the real-world drama of Watergate, a twist of fate captured on celluloid. As we draw the curtains on our exploration of the enigmatic world within the conversation, I encourage you to let the echoes of this cinematic masterpiece linger in the corridors of your mind. The film, A Symphony of Whispers and Surveillance, invites you to reflect on the intricacies of human connection, communication, and the haunting resonance of secrets. Take a moment to traverse the alleys of your own experiences. Have you ever felt the weight of unspoken words or witnessed the dissonance between intention and perception? The conversation invites us to a clandestine dance where the rhythm of secrecy orchestrates the narrative. As you ponder the intricacies of Harry Call's world, let your thoughts unravel like the magnetic tape that captures both dialogue and silence. Share your reflections, your favorite nuances, or the scenes that etched themselves into the tapestry of your memory. Did the film unravel new dimensions in your understanding of human dynamics? In the realm of the conversation, each viewer becomes a participant, decoding the subtle whispers and nuances that permeate the storyline. So, let this be an invitation to an open dialogue and exchange of thoughts and perspectives that transcends the confines of the screen. Thank you for joining us on this introspective journey through the conversation. Your time and contemplation are treasures, and we're eager to hear the echoes of your own reflections. Share your thoughts, and let's continue this conversation beyond the frames of the film.
Reflect, share, and let the conversation endure.